Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, another delivery from eBay. Now, this is odd. I bought this day before yesterday. The guy shipped it yesterday, and it got here today. And that's almost a record, 24 hours. It came from Indiana. Anyway, another eBay find. As I always stress, don't overlook the junk. This represents, I think, the epitome of that statement. This is a Marks 999 pre-war with its tender gondola and caboose. I got all of it for 10 bucks, and I was the only bidder. So, it is in remarkably poor condition. The uh, caboose itself is junk. It's just eaten alive with the rest, and all of the paint is gone. It's also missing one set of wheels. All right, so let's see. A Marks, well, he packed this really well. He sure did. So a Marks 999 pre-war, 10 bucks with its original consist. Hard to beat that. And the fact that I was the only bidder was really, really surprising. So let's start with whatever this is. Wow, he's got this wrapped really, really well. Sure does. All right, let's see what we have here. It seems to be universal. The uh, bubble wrap and then tissue. All right, there we go. So this is the gondola. Wow. That's better. Now the gondola is in fair condition. As you see, it's all tin with of. It's got a loose tab right there. But four wheels, two tab and slot couplers, it's in decent shape. A couple of drops of oil and a few minutes with that, clean it up really well. All right, let's see what we have here. This looks like the caboose. Well, I do not like the way the guy wrapped this. I don't think this was necessary at all. All right, so there is the caboose. Now, as you see, it is destroyed. However, it has the uh, railing and ladder. The uh, chassis itself is fine. So, in any case, not anything you can do with the uh, shell itself. The rest of it is in usable condition, except it's missing one set of wheels. All right, which is, I've got a box of wheels right under the layout. All right, let's see. This is the tender, or should be anyway. I don't know what the point of the tissue was when the stuff is in this condition. So as you see, the tender is far from perfect, but it is complete. A lot of rust on it. But even so, you can get this thing cleaned up. It is a usable tender. All right, now let's go to the locomotive itself. Now, pre-war, 999 it has no front or rear truck and it wasn't designed for one i'll show you when i get this thing unwrapped if i get it unwrapped all right anyway 10 bucks the wheels on this locomotive are worth 40 bucks All right, there's the locomotive. Let me get this out of the way. All right, make sure the camera is focused. And it is. All right, so here's the locomotive itself. As you notice, it has no front truck, no rear truck, but it also has uh, no place for a front truck. So this locomotive never had a front truck. Pre-war, as you see, Wow, wheel is loose, 
on the axle. But you notice it has spoked wheels. These wheels are 10, 12 bucks a piece at Grossman's. So in any case, it's gonna be interesting to see. Now this thing's been sitting obviously for years, but it's complete, it's undamaged. A bit rough, but you can have this cleaned up in just a few minutes. The point is, I bought it to get this motor. Pre-war <clears throat> pre single reduction motor, spoked wheels, 10 bucks for the entire set. Now the question of course is going to be, will it run? So I've got some motor oil here, saturating the felt pad on the brush plate. This thing's really dry. This thing has been sitting for decades, decades and decades. All right, one big drop on the output gear or the output bearing for the uh, armature itself. All right, put this on the rail. Let me turn on the power. I have no idea if this is going to run. All right, power is on. Let me pull this off the uh, tripod, get this tripod out of the way. Let's take a look at this real quick before I give it any power. So there's the 999. Spoke wheels. You notice it doesn't have the slides on it. It has standard push rods. No front truck, no provision for a front truck. All right, so let's see what happens. Mark's 999 with its original set. Pre-war, 10 bucks on eBay, and I was the only bidder. Let's see what happens. It runs backwards, and it runs forward. Now, this thing has not been run in decades. Literally decades. Look at this. Even the headlight is working. So you tell me, was that worth $10? And it's really noisy. And it's really dirty. But the thing is, it's running. So a Mark's 999 with its original tender. Gondola and caboose missing one set of wheels anyway ten dollars so this goes into the junk box however that's a usable car a bit of cleanup this is a usable car and of course the 999 itself now i've got another 999 shell i could just throw on this it's been repainted the point being don't overlook the junk no one else bid on this because of that i guarantee you that's why no one bid on this set and the fact that the 999 looks odd because it doesn't have the slides and the uh, large push rods it also does not have a space for a uh, front truck so this never had a front truck and it's 85 years old and it's running as you see Easier to sticky a bit. Anyway, as you see, it was definitely worth what I paid for it. Those four wheels at Grossman's would have been 40 bucks plus shipping. So you see single reduction motors, pre-war motors on eBay all the time. 25 bucks, 35 bucks, 45 bucks, and more. And people buy them. Here's a single reduction pre-war motor in the shell with the original cars for 10 bucks and i was the only bidder i cannot explain that you would figure anybody who was into mark's locomotives would have bought this just to get it for the parts if nothing else ten dollars how can you go wrong that is worth ten dollars by itself this of course is useless however you do have a chassis that is good you can pull it apart, pull the wheels off, pull the tab and slot off if you want. <clears throat> you can just drop another uh, shell on this and you have a new car. This needs a bit of judicious tweaking and lubrication. <clears throat> this needs some cleanup and it was just covered in rust. But you can touch this up with an ink marker and some motor oil. Be more than good enough for casual running. The locomotive itself is running fine. It needs to be cleaned and lubricated. But as you see, <clears throat> 
excuse me, there is no damage to it. It needs to be thoroughly cleaned. It has one loose wheel. But the point being, it is up and running. And actually running fairly well, considering I've done nothing to it except two drops of oil. So I'll pull this apart, get it cleaned up, lubricate it, tune it. As for the cars, this needs a bit of judicious uh, touch-up. This really doesn't need much of anything. It's got one tab that's popped out right there. This, of course, you can drop a, a, a new shell on it. You can strip it for its parts, the uh, tab and slot, the chassis, and the wheels. So in any case, I'm pleased with it. A pre-war Marks 999. It's original tender, gondola, and caboose in less than perfect condition, but it was 10 bucks. And it's really difficult to beat that. So I'll pull this thing apart, get it cleaned up, lubed and tuned. Gonna have a great uh, pre-war Marks 999 for $10. As I stress, don't overlook the junk. So in any case, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing on this thing. You look around, there's still some bargains on eBay. So as always, if you have any questions, Feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.